Hi, I'm Lady Genevieve. It has been quite some time since I last did any sort of reaction commentary video. I do have a couple posted on my channel, but typically I tend to do more reviews and analyses that take a bit longer to sit down and map out what I'm going to say before I actually start recording. Today I'm going to be watching Werewolf by Night, which was something that I had always intended on watching simply because of the fact that Gael Garcia Bernal is the lead performer in it. That's a handsome man right there. That is a very handsome uh, fellow. I don't know much about what the premise is beyond the fact that there should be some sort of werewolf horror element, which I'm quite looking forward to because it is October, it's spooky season, there's a lot of new releases that are out or coming out, including the new Hellraiser, which I just watched last night since I thought I was going to have to wait till today to see, but it was already out last night, so I watched it. It was very bleak. Let's not waste any time and let's just get into it. Ooh. Hunters have gathered from around the globe. <gasps> Not the black and white opening. Wait, is the entire thing in black and white? This already feels very classic, very old school horror. Looks so sexy. I do wonder how scary this is going to be because Disney Plus doesn't appear to be a brand that likes to do very adult oriented content, so. She's a child! Hunt which will decide who next will wield the bloodstone. Oh, I love a dramatic reveal. Is this Gael? Is it Gaio? Please be Gaio. He's the only reason I'm watching this. Where is he right now? Ah! There he is! <laughs> Have they said anything about the face paint and whether or not that's meant to be some sort of a... Uh, is it drawing origin from any sort of uh, indigenous heritage? Ancestry, perhaps? That's suspicious. And I love the dark circles under his eyes. See, if I had known he was gonna do that, I might have attempted something similar. Instead, I just went for a heavy dark eyeshadow to be festive. And I painted my nails, which you can't even see while I'm filming unless I put my hands up like this. Ooh, oh, okay, so it's not all black and white. Is something going to get unleashed and then it's all going to turn into color? I, uh, I like your whole look there with the makeup. I do too! Yeah, it's to honor my ancestors. Okay, yeah. okay, there we go. I would love to see Gael do more horror. <gasps> Can you imagine if Gael were to do a Sam Raimi film now that he's out of director's jail? Oh, let me not think too much about it. I'm gonna get distracted. Okay, now who is she? Are we a love interest? Are we an anti-heroine? Elsa, after 20 years, I <gasps> Is that, is she from Desperate Housewives? Need to go buy a new handbag. What's wrong with that one? Shame I didn't turn out. Don't be too easy on yourself. You were the greatest <gasps> disappointment of his life. Okay, those are fighting words. Get your hands up. What are you doing? You're just gonna stand there and let her talk to you like that? Uh-uh. <laughs> you don't know me out. And over 100 deaths, give or take. Around. Of course. Yeah. What is the category? Doesn't matter. Gael will inevitably excel in it. Mm-hmm. So true. He was a leader. A friend. A lover without equal. Oh, girl. I know you're not putting all of that out in public. Do they have, like, a hostage, and then they're going to release the hostage, and then whomever gets the hostage wins a prize? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my God. What is that? Moisturizer, sunscreen. It will do wonders for the skin. Uh-uh. Oh I no. I do hope my attendance. You did not take this man's dead body and turn it into a carnival attraction. The hunter who slays this beast will become our new leader. Oh, Gael. Gael will be the new leader. Clearly. What do you mean? Oh no, wait a minute. Okay, so are they monster hunters? And then they're gonna run across a werewolf and then Gael's gonna get scratched or bitten and then he's gonna become a werewolf. And then the hunter becomes the hunted. Okay. And then is he gonna take them all out one by one? Hmm. 
Impending violence. <laughs> oh, forgive me. Graveyard humor. Why does Gaia look so unsettled? He looks worried. Is he already a werewolf? <gasps> to rid this land of its abominations. Okay. Interesting choice of word, abomination. Oftentimes it can feel like monster stories are allegories for the other or the outsider. I do think it's interesting to have a Mexican protagonist who's seemingly in touch with his indigenous roots. And then if he then becomes a monster who then is being hunted by people from all different corners of the world, Am I reaching? Perhaps, but I always look for the allegory and the commentary, so... What is his methodology of hunting? Does he have any weapons on him? Can we see them? <laughs> they did not put out a record player. What, just for the ambiance of it all? It's giving theater. See... <laughs> This hunter-on-hunter hunter violence is not interesting to me. I want to see a monster. Ooh, okay, all right. I was wondering how much violence we were going to get. I just saw somebody lose a limb. Die, die, die! Okay, but if this is a monster movie, I want to see the monster. We are already, how many minutes in? 17 minutes in? I have yet to see a monster. There's not a lot of time. Let's get going. <laughs> oh. Is that not the monster? What the fuck is going on in here on this day? <laughs> is he? Oh my god, are they friends? No way. I'm gonna get you out of here! I promise you, I'm gonna get you out of there! Well, you keep saying that you're gonna be careful each time and- He just wants to save his friend! You can't keep counting on Okay, that's see. cute. Listen, the hippies need to make a comeback. And I'm talking about the real old school anti-war movement on a government watch list, hippies. And the government tells me that I am very dangerous. So you don't want to be like your father then? Who wants to be like their father? I mean, unless your father is- Ramon Estevez. No, I never changed my name. My, my name officially is still Ramon Estevez on my passport, driver's license, and so forth. And I love my name. I never would change it. No, not to say, mi gente Latino. We could die here. I hope not. I'm only here to see you. Okay. Jack, cross me and I'll kill you both. Uh-uh, you're not laying okay. a hand on him. You're not laying a finger on him. Just treat him like an old friend. Call him by his name. Which is? Ted. He's so sweet. He's called Ted. Ted? He's called Ted? My expectation in life is to be invisible, and I'm good at it. <laughs> Jack, just shove it in the crack. I saw that going differently in my mind. Ah! What's wrong with Jack? Oh wait, he's already a werewolf? A monster. <gasps> oh no, he's been exposed. Monster he is a werewolf, isn't he? He's a, that's why we didn't see an attack. We're over halfway through this thing. And we haven't seen a werewolf attack transformation thing, so he's already a werewolf. <gasps> is he gonna turn into a werewolf? I wanna see the transformation! I know. Come on. I'm an idiot, I know. Wolf out and kill everybody and let's go. He is such a good actor. Any hunting that I do is done by a part of me that is not me. Okay. So if this is gonna happen, I need you to look at me, okay? To not break eye contact, no matter what. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. This woman got paid for Gael Gabriel to sniff to sniff her down. <laughs> That's scent. And this is what? I need to remember you. So I go, whoa, whoa, who's that? And he goes, hi, hi it's me, Gael. Just kill me as I am. Otherwise, there will be no mercy, I promise. But I don't want you to show them mercy, Gael. I want you to rip their heads off. No ritual animal slaughters of any kind. A whole mission 
is built on mercy. Lady, he's offering you mercy. My short king is gonna take you out. All right, watch out. Oh, here we go. One of the quintessential parts of a werewolf story. Transformation. Is she going to talk to him and just say his name and show him kindness and empathy the way that he taught her to do with Ted? And that's how she'll survive and everyone else is gonna get their faces ripped off. Did he break out? <gasps> he broke out. That cage held him for all of five seconds. Legendary. Legendary behavior. I just love to look at him. Oh. Me too. Mm -hmm. Your majesty. Oh my God, no, no, it's gonna be terrible. I mean, this is what we came here for. We came here to see Gael Garcia Bernal be a werewolf and just murder a bunch of people who deserve it. Okay, now who's got the stone? Oh, of course it's her. <sighs> he better not be mortally wounded. I'm going to be furious if I watch this just for him, only for him not to survive in the end. Mm-mm. Girl, just talk to him. Say his name. Jack, you still in there? Yes, he is. Manon! Don't go in there! I love that the face paint stayed on. Representing his culture? Here for it. Elsa! You let it go! She sure did. Mm-hmm. You better stop with the trash talking or else he's gonna circle right back around and rip your face off like I've been waiting to see for this entire 40 however many minutes it's been. He also did time for first degree manslaughter. <laughs> it's Ted! Clap if you've ever wanted to kill somebody. <laughs> Not Miss Judy Garland. <sighs> Music that I love. Oh, I think Stead. Oh, sweetie, you look hung over. Okay. It wasn't as basic as I thought it would be. There's definitely certain parts of it that suffer from a lot of the things that I don't like about MCU content. You know, the VFX are noticeably not at the level that I would like them to be at, but everybody who's paid any amount of attention knows that that is because Marvel rushes and overworks their VFX artists. I really liked the choice to keep the majority of it in black and white. I definitely think that it suited the mood and gave it a very old school classic horror feel. There was more violence than I thought that there would be just because Disney has grown increasingly averse over the years to making material that is targeting an audience over the age of 12. So I suppose it was all right in that regard. With it being so short, I think that it uh, kept things really compact in a way that was probably the right choice. Of course, I've made it more than clear that my only real reason that I wanted to watch this was for Gael. And just as I would have expected, he delivered. He truly carried the entire project on his short king shoulders. And we love that for him. And I love that for me as someone who just watched it. Let me know what you thought of Werewolf by Night if you actually watched the whole thing. If you're new here, feel free to go watch my video about Letters to Juliet since that was also something that I made because of Gael Garcia Bernal's involvement in that project and my extreme disdain for the movie's choice to not have him be the endgame love interest absolutely makes zero sense. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you're all having a fantastic October and enjoying all of the spooky season content that is coming out. As for me and my channel, if you're not new here, you already know what my big video project is that I've been working on and I'm continuing to work on. But apart from that, my two other videos that I am planning on doing this month are a review of the new DCEU film Black Adam once that comes out, as well as the new rom-com. Ticket to Paradise, starring George Clooney and Julia Roberts. I do not have enough words in my vocabulary to properly articulate how excited I am about that movie coming out. So just keep an eye out for those things. 
I may try to do one or two other videos besides that this month, but I don't want to make any promises just yet because time is limited. So I would rather just stick to a couple of upcoming projects at a time. See you in the next one. Bye.